The first time you log into your MyIDRO account, you'll be prompted to add some hardware. Choose Yes to open the system configuration. The system configuration screen is where you add and edit devices or display groups. Devices contain the physical sensors that collect the data, and display groups are a grouping of sensors for display in the client. To add a new device, choose Add Device and select the vendor from the list. In this demonstration, we're going to add an IDRO device. Enter the serial number of the device and choose Claim. You'll see the new device show up in your device's list to the left. On the right is the configuration information for that device. These fields should be edited depending on your installation. Once you're happy with your edits, choose Save Changes and the configuration will be saved. When a new device is added, it also automatically adds a new display group with all the sensors of the device. You can see the display group iDRO with the matching serial number has been added automatically and all the sensors from that device are in that display group. Display groups can be used to group sensors across multiple modules or even break sensors apart from a single module. For example, if I wanted to create a new display group with only power port A, I would do this by adding a display group, giving it a descriptive name, in this case we'll use test, and selecting the sensors that I want part of that display group. When you're done, save your changes, and you'll see the new display group has been added, and my original one is still there with all three sensors. Display groups can also be shared among users. To do this, click the sharing tab and enter the email address of the user you'd like to share with. Choose add share. Another option is to create a public URL. What this does is it creates a public page that can be shared among users without them having to create a user account. You can also export your data for your display groups. To do this, choose the export tab, select the period you'd like to export and the type of data you'd like to export. Clicking export data, We'll download a comma-separated value file, which can be imported into Excel or some other spreadsheet program. When you're happy with your configuration, choose Done to close the System Configuration dialog. In the future, if you need to go into the System Configuration, hover over the gears in the top right and choose System.